Hey there, today I'm diving into the ingenious world of Roman hippocausts, ancient underfloor heating systems that were way ahead of their time. Imagine a chilly Roman winter, but instead of shivering, you're toasty thanks to this brilliant innovation. So, how did it work? The hypercourse system was basically a network of raised floors and hollow walls. First, Romans would build a floor on small pillars, creating a space underneath. This space was then connected to a furnace outside the building. When the furnace was lit, hot air and smoke would flow through these spaces and warm the floors above. Uh, pretty smart, right? But it didn't stop there. Some hypercourse were even connected to the walls, allowing heat to rise and circulate throughout the entire room. This method didn't just heat the floor, it created a warm, comfortable atmosphere. Now let's talk materials. Romans used tiles and bricks to construct the hypercourse system, which helped in evenly distributing the heat. These materials were not only excellent at retaining heat, but also durable enough to last centuries. In fact, remnants of these systems can still be found in ancient Roman ruins today, but the Romans took it a step further. They combined hippocausts with their famous public baths. Imagine stepping into a bathhouse with floors and walls radiating warmth. The hippocaust would heat the caldarium or hot bath, ensuring a luxurious experience. This wasn't just about comfort, it was a social hub where Romans could relax and converse. So why does this matter to us today? The hypercourse system is a testament to human ingenuity and engineering prowess. It showcases how ancient civilizations tackled everyday challenges with innovative solutions. The next time you enjoy the warmth of your heated floors, give a nod to the Romans who paved the way. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more deep dives into the marvels of engineering. Catch you in the next video.